Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this beautiful puff flower hexagon. I just saw this beautiful chic bag on Instagram made up of these hexagons and I just thought I would love to make one of those very soon. But you can of course use these for a lot of different projects like blankets and cushion covers and a lot of other things. So let's get started. For this project I'm going to use this DK light worsted weight yarn and for this I will need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I will also need a darning needle to weave in my ends and I will need some scissors. To begin we are going to make a magic circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my two fingers and create a cross. Then I will take my hook insert it underneath the bottom yarn, grab the top yarn and pull through, then yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And here is my magic circle. And as you can see I already have one chain, so I'm going to chain two more. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. And these three chains will count as the first double crochet of the round. So next I'm going to make 11 more double crochet into the circle. So that will be 12 double crochet in total including the chain 3. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. And again yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and repeat all the way around. And as I work my stitches I can just pull my yarn tail here a little bit to make the circle tighter. So I now have 12 double crochet including the chain 3, so I'm going to pull my yarn tail to close the circle completely. And I will make a slip stitch into the top of the chain 3. So insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And to start round 2 I am going to chain 2. And round two is going to be a round of puff stitches into every stitch around. So to make a puff stitch I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. So I now have seven loops on the hook. I will yarn over and pull through six loops, then yarn over again and pull through two loops. Then I'm going to chain one and again make a puff stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, three times in total, then yarn over and pull through six loops, yarn over and pull through two, and again chain one. So I will just repeat all the way around into every stitch, so I will have 12 puff stitches in total in the round. So here at the end of the round I'm just going to do my last chain one and I will end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So I will insert my hook and pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. 
And to start round three, I'm going to make a slip stitch into this next chain space. So again, insert and pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And then I will chain two. And the chain two will not count as a stitch. So I'm going to make two puff stitches into this first chain space. So again, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. So I have seven loops, yarn over, pull through six, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. And one more time, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through six. Yarn over, pull through two. And chain one. And I will just repeat this process all the way around. So at the end of the round, I will have 24 puff stitches in total. So again, two puff stitches and chain one in between into every chain space. One puff stitch, chain one, and one more into the same space. and chain one again to get to the next space. So I will just continue around and meet you at the end of the round. So here at the end of the round, I will just chain one and make a slip stitch into this first stitch. And again, make a slip stitch into this next chain space to start the fourth round. And in round four, we are going to turn the circle here into a hexagon. So I'm going to begin with making the first corner. I will chain three. And the chain three will count as the first double crochet of the round. So next I will make two more double crochet into the same chain space. Then I will chain two to make the corner and I will make three more double crochet into the same space. Next, chain one. Next, I'm going to skip these next two puff stitches and the chain one in between and go right over to this next chain space and make three double crochet. Again, chain one. Again, I'm going to skip these next three stitches and go right into the next chain space here and make the next corner. So I will make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet into the same space. So one and two, and three double crochet, chain two to make the corner, and three more double crochet into the same space. And again, chain one. 
again skip the next three stitches, go into the next chain space and make three double crochet. Then chain one. Again, skip the next three stitches and into the next chain space, I will make the next corner. So three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet into the same space. One, two, three, chain two and three more into the same space. Then chain one. Again, skip the next three stitches and into this next chain space, make three double crochet. Then chain one again and skip three stitches and make the next corner into the next chain space. So again, three double crochet. Then chain two and three more double crochet into the same space. Again, chain one, skip the next three stitches and into the next chain space, make three double crochet. Again, chain one, skip the next three stitches and into the next chain space, make the next corner. So three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the same space. One, two, and three, chain two, and three more double crochet into the same space. Again, chain one, skip the next three stitches and into the next chain space, make three double crochet. Again, chain one, skip the next three stitches and make the next corner into the next space. So again, three double crochet. Then chain two and three more double crochet into the same space. Again, chain one. And again, skip the next three stitches and make three double crochet into the next space. And here at last, I will just chain one and make a slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch here of the round. And I am now ready to fasten off my yarn. And I will weave in the ends on the back side.
and I will cut my yarn. And we are now all done. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a like and comment down below. And if you have any great suggestions for what I could make in my next video, I would also really love to hear from you. Have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.